But yeah, I always find a problem. Like, you know. I'm not saying I always found a problem with it, but it was always confusing. But honestly, uh, okay, I guess we're done. My problem has never been, you know, the whole women equality thing. Because women already just had equality, which is necessary to need as many equality. Hey, look who it is. So you are Henry Percy. Word of your prowess precedes you. Your Highness, prepare yourself. Earmark, enough. So you wish to see whether I was worth serving or not. Your boldness too is as reputed. <laughs> I really wonder how he reflected that sword with a giant ass lance. Oh no. My rogue gripe was with parenting. Like, I feel like parents we have. I, I feel like. I don't know, maybe it's just. Oh, tis yourself. After all you have done. It truly pains me to say this, but the ship carrying our goods sunk in stormy seas. I am sorry, but I am penniless once again. Now I know that I should not have relied so greatly on another's money. My apologies for the trouble I caused you. At present, this is all I can give you. Please accept it. It's okay, dude. Like, seriously, I have so much money. If you need more, I'll give it to you. So, the assassin and the hothead don't really get together well. This is all I have for you. You choose this one? Oh, uh, so what's the saying? Maybe it's just me, or maybe it's not, but I feel like parenting needs, needs to be reworked. Not so much like beating your kids and shit like If your kid's an asshole, beat him. You know, if he's bullying people, beat his ass. You know, if he's doing bad in school, you know, make, you know do what y'all do so he doesn't do bad in school anymore. But it's more like left less, life lessons bullshit. Clones you in a sense, you know they they're they're bits and pieces of you and your partner combined together to make another human being, you know. So you gotta understand that your kids are gonna have traits from you that you struggle with. So, for example, my father has anger issues. I have anger issues. So, uh. There are certain things that would have been nice to excuse me, how was you on you know, know how to deal with as growing up. Cause you know, like if you see I don't know if I threw temper tantrums as a child or what. But if your child has anger issues, and you know you have anger issues. I don't think you should beat your child for having anger, for for having uh, an explosion of anger or outburst of anger. You know, because I seem like that's unfair. You gave him that that trait. And then you're gonna punch him for something that you gave him. You know, like, he's like, you are blah blah years old. You don't need to be acting like that. I'm like, well, I act like that because this is the way I, f I don't know why I act like this. I'm fucking five. 
One fucking eight or something. Okay, I don't know why I get so fucking mad all the time. And then you, as you growing up, you see your, your mother or father snapping at every little thing. You know, build too high or something, or, you know, uh, something is a, a mist or whatever. And then they come in and they're all yelling and shit and snapping and then they start making outrageous demands like, hey, don't do this anymore, don't do that anymore. And you'll be like, whoa, damn. Ain't that serious. You know, and then, you know, it's okay for them to explode un irrationally. But as you do it as a child, not even understanding emotions yet, you get, you get, you know, you get, you get, you know, you know, some get beat, some get time out. You know, I feel like you should, like, alright, also, for example, if you know things in your life have made you emotionally unstable or mentally unstable or codependent on some kind of drug or alcohol, and if your kids start showing signs that you have, you should immediately say something. You know, that's why you shouldn't run from your problems. Because if you have kids, they're going to inherit your problems through traits. Like. It's a lot of things that I got from my parents. That I see now as I'm older and I, I see now that I display. You know, like. My anger and my laziness and, you know, other elements. I get it from them. And I, I know I got it from them because I see them displaying the same things that I display. But, you know, it would have been so much easier if someone just simply talked to me about it. You know, like, I know I, my kid has a risk of being, uh being diagnosed with depression or chronic depression so if he I shouldn't get angry with him if he has thoughts of suicide or he you know feels isolated and like he can't relate to us like his parents or something you know I shouldn't be mad at him all I can do is, is just, um, talk to him, try to help him understand what he's dealing with. And I think that's the biggest issue with parenting. Everybody forgets the, the, the problems they had in life and the issues they dealt with growing up. And then when they're showing their kid, they act like they never had those problems. It's like, depressed? What are you depressed about? Huh? You got all this good shit? We take you places, we buy you whatever you want? What you gotta be depressed about? It's like, you know, get the fuck out of my face talking about you depressed. Or oh, you fucking depressed. I'll give you something to be depressed about. And yes, that is from personal experience. That's from my life. You know, I don't know if anyone ever have suffered from that, but, you know. That's personal shit right there. You know, so... Have graced us with their presence again. Yet another battle, it would appear. Certainly, they have discovered how vital mercenaries are in modern warfare. You know, so we are planning at present a campaign in the Champagne region. His Highness Prince Edward shall personally command this battle. Step forward and make a name for yourself. Mm. Drinking me some raspberry lemonade tea. At present, this is all you choose this one.
May you return on scale. Oh, whew. excuse me. Yeah, so, you know. But I know my mom suffers from depression. And probably my dad. Like, I don't know, like, I live with my dad. I mean, my whole family is together. You know, and in my entire life of living with, with them, I hardly know my father. Like, I don't know. I know, I know basic shit. Like, like, I know who his mom is. I know who his brothers are. You know, and I know who his friends are. But that's it. I don't know anything about his father slash my grandpa. Ah. Uh, I don't know anything about the experiences in his life except for his first marriage. I warned you. Do you not truly value your own existence? Please. You must hasten to his highness. The enemy. Assassins. Huh. Knights, maintain the attack on the town. You mercenaries, follow me. Okay, so like I was saying. Move. We must save his royal highness. Okay, so like I was saying, um, you know, my dad's a shut-in. I, he didn't, you know, it's not like, uh, learn, not like he told me this or some shit. I just, he doesn't go out. Him and my mom do not go out. So, he just stays in the house and he goes out and work. And that's it. You can't get him to leave his fucking room for anything else but work. So, he's basically a fucking shut-in. Now, I'll go out if I want to, like, I'll go out, i go to the movies, you know, I'll go to the mall, I'll go to, I'll do, I'll go out and do shit, but I only go out when I have an objective. I mean, I, I'm never going to leave the house for nothing. Like, I'm not going to be like, I just want to go for a walk. I'm not going to do that shit, Oof, you know. I'll go to the movies, I'll go to the mall, I'll, I'll go to an arcade or something, I'll go places to do things. I'm not just gonna go somewhere to go somewhere. You know, so I'm like, I kind of a shut in because if there's not a lot of things I wanna do, I'm not gonna go out a lot. But you know, I get it from my dad cause he's a fucking shut in. You know, so. When someone says, why don't you go out a lot? Why don't you go out more? I'm like, well, why don't you fucking go out? Are you all here just complaining about me not going out? Well, he doesn't go out either. You know, so. That is, that's like, where, you know, it's just me figuring out shit about myself and where I get it from. Like, um. Like, passive aggressiveness. I don't think I'm passive aggressive. I don't think I am. But, uh. How could this be? My mom is very passive aggressive. But the problem with her passive aggressiveness is. She is. She, she is. For lack of better words. Kind of like attached to my. Like not in the loyal kind of way, more like I'm like I'm old and desperate, and you know, ain't nothing out there for me in the world no more. So I might as well just stick it out with you. Like that's my mom. You know, like if anyone lived in my shoes for any point in time, you could see that the relationship to my mom and dad is deteriorating. I see it. They might not want to accept it. 
And then my dad just doesn't want to, just wants to deny it. Exactly. No, so, my mom gets upset with my dad. But, I don't know if it's due to fear of him, like, leaving or something. Which, I don't think he's ever going to fucking leave. Because, or fucking, you know, like, I doubt seeing him moving out and getting his own place or some shit like that. You know, they're old. They're, he's, he's not a bachelor no more. He's not going to have a bachelor plan. You know, he's kind of settled into his life. So, even if he fucking hated, became, started to hate my mom, he wasn't leaving. He would just fucking be like, you know what, I'm stuck here. Might as well just fucking be happy to some degree or, you know, make this shit work. You know, that's, that's a relationship. It's like, I'm old, you're old. We got no real life outside of this. This is our life now. So, you know, my mom gets mad at my dad. But she won't say anything to my dad. She'll passively aggressive or more like wait to me to come in her line of fire and then blast on me her her, her problems. She'll say you guys but she she'll say you guys or y'all but she only says it when I'm around. Your Highness, for what reason did you stop in such perilous a place? I trust my friends. I trust you, Henry Percy. Eomar. All of my friends. What say you? Trust? Friends? Those who fight side by side must trust each other. That is why I am willing to risk my life. I am to blame. It is me they came for. Alright, more story shit. I love this story shit. So, what was I saying? Yeah, you know, but she only yells at me. The shit. You know, like, um, she cleaned up the kitchen or something one time. And I was down there making a sandwich. And she was like, make sure you wipe off the counter because I just cleaned that. And I was like, cool, no problem. At the same time, my dad's in there making food. Uh, he makes his food, gets done, leaves, goes sits down in the living room with my mom. I finish making my sandwiches, I clean up, go upstairs. She doesn't say, hey, did you wipe off that counter? To him. But when I walk through, she says, hey, did you wipe off that counter? We were both in there making food. I think, don't both of us deserve to be reminded to wipe off the counter? There was another phase she was going through. Uh, she was upset at my dad, but I got punched also. So she stopped buying food. I am dead fucking serious. She stopped buying food. She straight up doesn't buy food. When she does, it's very little and it's very, 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 very rare. That she buys food for the refrigerator. So, all the money I was making at the time was going towards food. And that, and you know, I'm like, a, I was like 18, I was like 18, 19, and 20. Like, you know, so in between 21 and 18 at the time. <sighs> and... Oh, okay, cool. I gotta defeat some nobles. Alright, so, at the age, you know, I'm like at this age. I plan to fight as many nobles Form as ranks. possible. Accompany me if you 
wish to help? Yeah, sure. You know, and so at the time, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how to, you know, I, I know to buy my fruits and vegetables. But, you know, I don't have, a, I don't know what to buy for my, what meats to buy and shit like that. I wasn't ready to that point, okay? I had learned to cook and fend for myself, but shopping was not something I was good at. Or mainly shopping for for good prices was something I wasn't good at. You know? That's just, that's, that's being dead honest with you. I wasn't a good shopper. I, I didn't know how to, I wasn't a good deal shopper. I can shop. I didn't just, I didn't get good deals. You know, I would be paying. Like, you know, I'll be like, oh, that's not a lot. But then it's like, what? That's a lot. I'll be like, oh, okay. But, um. Hey, are you not attached too far away? If you wish to aid me, you shall have to stay closer. Where are you? Esther. Cause I'm I'm clearly gonna run through your people because I'm very fast. So just go. I am Branwen of Wales. Come, let me evince to you my skill with a bow. Okay. Hey, count dude. Count of foxes or whatever. It seems I was Get wrecked. So what was I saying? Let us locate the next one. Um You know, so it seems I would have all uh, you know I bought a lot of fucking snacks. So I, I didn't buy healthy food, so that fucked with my health a lot. You know, I didn't buy, I bought fruits and vegetables and shit, but most of the time, I would need something immediate, you know, because I was on the move a lot, I would, you know. So, I would come home and order, like, Chinese food, or pizza, or a cheesesteak, or something. If you are afraid, not that you shall run far. Let us fight with honor. You know. How could this befall me? So, that's just, that's more about me, personally. You know, I'm not saying every person suffers this. I'm not saying this is a common thing in household. I'm just saying the shit happens. You know, and if you plan to have kids, and you know you got some issues, keep an eye open for your kids to have those issues. And to to fucking take care of them and help them understand what the fuck's going on in their mind. Need. Thank you. I shall proceed alone from here. You know. So if you want to kill something and you know you fucked up, just be prepared to deal with that shit. So work on yourself. You know, cause you just gonna don't, you know, don't let them make the same mistakes you did. Oh, you know. Also, don't use your, don't use your position as a parent to deny them a voice. If you don't, you don't, you're not understanding what I'm saying when I say that, basically I mean, if you fuck up, if you do something wrong, or you say something wrong, or you're doing something unfair and they know it's unfair, and then they try to, you know, get justice, per se, justice for lack of better words, you know, fairness, fairness out of you and you're like, I'm the parent, what I say goes or, you know, you talking back to me, don't talk back to me, I slap you in your mouth, 
you know, and all they're trying to do is get that point across as to why that seems unfair and you wouldn't want that done to you. But you're like, I'm the parent, whatever I say goes, and I will beat your ass if you disagree with me. You know, don't do that. Don't do that to your child. Don't don't let them think just because that that you're an adult, you're beyond being wrong and that you can't make mistakes. Because then they'll believe all adults are like that. Like even if they make a mistake, you are not allowed to correct them. No one's above being corrected or being uh you know, put in their place per se. You know, so don't ever do that to your child. Just don't, you know, don't let your pride, you know, hurt your child. If you're doing something unfair and unnecessary to your child and they feel like it's unfair and you don't have a really good reason to do it and they call you out on it, don't threaten them with violence. To keep to get them to shut up. If you're wrong, just accept that you're wrong and apologize. Show some fucking humility. You know, because if you do that shit, you gonna fuck your child life up. Because then he gonna, because then a, other people who are older than him can get over on him. They can say and do whatever they want, and they could be fucking wrong, but he won't say nothing. Because you always was fucking wrong with some shit, and you always threatened to beat his ass, or beat her ass, or punish him or something. So now they associate with correcting an adult when they're wrong with punishment. So, don't do that. If you are wrong, and they say, hey, that's wrong, be like, you right, baby. That is wrong. And don't ever feel like... If any adult is doing something wrong, do not feel like you can't tell them that they're doing the wrong thing. If they're being unfair. Alright? Don't don't silence your don't silence your kid's voice when it comes to adults. Alright, you should do you should purposely do shit unfair and not and wrong, so they'll be like, "Hey, that doesn't seem too fair," and then you ask them, "Explain why it doesn't seem fair," and they explain why it doesn't seem fair. Then, bam, let them go, or you know, explain to them why it was. If they did, if they couldn't explain it, explain to them why what you did was unfair. So when they see it again, they can appropriately deal with it. Cause you know, I, that's my, that's just me. That's how I want to raise my children. You know, no one's above being corrected. People make mistakes, and they should be, you know, so they don't re repeat the mistake. They should um be put in line. You know, but that's me. That's how I want to raise my kids. Some people don't want to raise their kids. And some people don't want to be put in check by their kids when they acting wild and acting irresponsible. Because they an adult, they feel like they got they can do whatever they want, and no child gonna tell them they wrong. And you only just you you fucking up your life and you fucking up your kid's life. Fuck that camel. You know. Wow, why am I so slow? See how slow I move? I'm like running in place, kind of. But yeah, so you gotta know. You gotta understand that. You know. It's. Alright, you like. You brought them in here. So don't feel like they owe you anything. Like, I brought you in this world. Bitch, did I ask? I was fucking...